Hello and welcome to another Artful Bodger video. In today's video I am going to be mounting this battery properly to this bike frame using rivnuts and this kit. Coming up next. So, over the last few weeks, I've been converting this bike into an e-bike using the Tongsheng TSD Z2 mid-drive e-bike motor. Uh, there should be a link to those videos up here. Um, one thing I haven't got around to doing yet is to mount this battery properly to the bike frame. And the problem I've got is that the bike frame has some holes in the frame, but they don't line up properly with where they need to be for the battery. So, in today's video, I'm going to use this kit, which I got from Amazon. Uh, I'll put a link in the description below to create a new threaded hole using a rivnut. So let's get on with it. Okay, so the first thing I did was take the battery off the uh, mount using the key. Now remember, currently the mount is held with one screw. So what I did was loosen that screw off slightly, which enabled me then to put a piece of tape underneath the mount uh, so I could easily mark where the second hole needed to be drilled. I then tightened it up again and then with a pencil marked where it should be. Now there are slotted holes here so we do have a little bit of tolerance which is useful. Then took the mount off entirely. So because of the design of this bike it's quite easy to measure where the hole goes sideways. So here's another bike that I've been working on. And as you can see in this instance, um, it's very difficult to measure where the hole goes. So, so the answer is to use a ruler. And you line the ruler up with the existing holes that are already in the frame. And of course that then means that your new hole will be in alignment too. Once I mark the hole, I'm using a center punch. Mark where the hole needs to be drilled. Now, obviously there's an added challenge that you've got a small space to work with in the frame. So I had to come in from one side. So using the kit, I first had to find the correct rib nut for the bolt that I wanted to attach. So that was just a question of screwing the bolt into the rib nuts that are in the kit. Uh, and I found the right one. The next thing I need to do is to actually select the matching mandrel and nose piece from the kit. So that is like a sort of collar that goes over the end and a thread that actually goes into the rib nut itself. So bear in mind screwing both the nose piece and the mandrel in, you are, it's a reverse thread, so you are screwing anti-clockwise. Then you screw the rib nut itself on. Drill a hole in the bike. What I did was I started with smaller drills and, and, and uh, made the hole larger. And I'm basically using a drill bit that's the same size as the rib nut. So the smallest drill you can find that will still allow the rib nut to actually go inside the frame. I also used an angled um, drill attachment, as you can see here. I'll put a link to one in the description. It just enabled me to have better access in the frame because, as mentioned earlier, there's not much space in there, so a sort of the full length of the drill wouldn't work. Taking the tape off, and then you literally just put the rib nut in, squeeze the handle, and then to unscrew it, you use this nib at the back here. And then you have it. And then going back to our actual bike, this is me screwing in the bolt just to check it's okay. I'm gonna put a bit of thread lock on there just to stop them coming undone. And now the battery holder is properly fixed to the frame. And we put the battery back on again, slide it on, and then lock with the key. Hopefully you enjoyed that. If you did, please do give us a thumbs up. It makes a difference. And if you'd like to see more content like this, please do hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. And I will see you on the next video. Take care.